Six World Solutions is a community-based consulting company focused particularly on sustainable development and building local capacity uh, for sustainable government governance of natural resources. Part of our work is on helping to nurture food sovereignty and we do so by identifying community partners and supporting them in their different areas of work to restore traditional food systems and farming and agricultural practices. The food insecurity that we face here in the Southwest in particular isn't the result of living in uninhabitable areas or in areas that lack um, uh, productive capacity, but because the destruction of our traditional food systems was a systematic part of uh, the colonization of our lands, territories, and resources. Federally imposed land laws and regulations prevent us from fully reclaiming and restoring those food systems. Um, so food deserts is a term that um, sort of conveys that uh, there is no food naturally occurring in a certain area or um, the lack of food is due to the lack of capacity to cultivate um, and sustain food systems. Uh, being desert peoples who are part of a highland arid desert climate, um, we know that deserts naturally have a lot of foods and have very complex food and medicinal systems that have always been a part of our way of life. I got into this program because it focused a lot on food security and especially with COVID hitting the Navajo Nation, um, I was very surprised of how un underprepared we were and it really shed light on a lot of areas among, um, on the Navajo Nation, uh, mainly with food and water. Uh, living out here in the Navajo Nation, you know, we're one of the very first people that experience climate change firsthand and you're, and being out here and visiting all these farms I, you can very, you can see it and everybody talks about it they're talking about adapting to the climate change now The Earthship Project is part of reclaiming our relationship to land. Over 50% of our enrolled members of the Navajo Nation are living off the reservation in urban areas. Um, and as a result, we, we are facing a severe housing shortage. So many resources that come from the federal government are used to build these types of houses that aren't climatically appropriate for our communities and for just the conditions that we live in. It's about building capacity together to build more sustainable, eco-friendly homes using available natural and recyclable resources so that we can create homes um, that recycle water um, as well as help us cultivate food. Food sovereignty is a really important aspect of moving forward especially um, in times where we're facing uh, climate change and how that's affecting our systems. Not only are we learning about like food systems and like food security and like how to garden, but we're also learning about policy and like a lot about the Navajo Nation. I guess just the importance of like land and like access to land and also the access to like clean water, like how hard that is to for some people to get and it makes me realize like how grateful I am to not have to struggle or worry about water quality and stuff. So I think that's what, what I learned the most here. You 
know, it's required in the food system certificate that we ask all students to go out and, you know, whatever area of the food systems from the producing the food, distributing it, cooking it, sharing it in just and equitable ways, we really want them to see what it's like on the ground. And so this, this seems to be a core central theme that the internship was able to provide. Our students not only went out and worked in the gardens and learned about um, composting and water systems, but they were part of the process of going to the community first and hearing their voices, asking what they want, asking what their visions are, and then thinking about how to follow the lead of sovereign communities. Our, our hope is that with Fort Lewis, we continue to cultivate a partnership that allows those who are interested in environmental sciences, our environmental studies, uh, to come learn from our communities and from our people here that are on the front lines of a lot of these challenges so that we can create a foundation for a new generation of climate and indigenous leaders who uh, have a holistic consciousness that allows us to create systemic approaches to our most complex issues.